Damian Dante Wayans, Craig Wayans, and George O. Gore II. Charge them. actually a funny story we're not too far in age so as kids he would take me places and he's only like three or four years older than me and he'd make me call him uncle damn right so four year old to seven year old he'd be like you gonna respect me call me uncle honey that's funny <laughs> <laughs> so what do you call him now uncle marlin <laughs> Tell everybody about uh, this new generation uh, show. How did it come about? And then everybody else jump in. Uh, well, people would always ask, what is it like to be a Wayans in interviews? So we decided to show them. Not everything, but loosely scripted. Well, scripted. Well, I, I like to say it's a loosely scripted show about our lives, coming out of the shadows of our famous uncles and making our own way in Hollywood. And, and when they go to auditions, you know, everybody wants, you know, an original Wayans and they get the next generation. Oh, can I explain this story, so, Wendy, please? Okay. Well, it, happened I'm just saying. Me. it happened to me verbatim. Oh. It still stings. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's a time as an actor, as a working actor, where you get that call from your agent and you think you've got a part. So it's the last audition, they go, they want you. All you got to do is nail this part. So I go into the audition, and all I hear in the thin walls is, this is the wrong one. <laughs> Damn. This is the wrong Wayans. And I go in, and it's Marlon Wayans paraphernalia out. His headshot is on the wall. So what do I do? Try to channel my inner Wayans. I throw my leg up. I'm, th I'm just trying to channel Marlon the best way I can. Needless to say, I didn't get the part. It was Lady Killers, ladies and gentlemen. But, but you yeah. know, it's interesting to watch you all go through that. Now, Craig, um, I thought through the TV that you were son of Keenan because you you look like him and you sound like him. Like, you you, um, you sound like him. I heard that before. Well, we came out of somewhat the same passageway somewhere <laughs> down the line. So maybe that's gotcha. where, where it happened. I don't have, um, you know, a bunch of... Uh, I have one sister, but I always thought that if I had, you know, a string of sisters, that we'd do fun stuff. Like, maybe we'd go to the same college and we would live together and we'd be like our own gang. Do you all, do you all, anybody live together with? Um, no, we don't live together, but we, we are a we gang. everything together, though. I like yeah. that. Yeah, we're a gang. We, you know, you mess with one way and you mess with all of us. Oh, but, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> George, uh, you are very quiet on the show. It seems like you're like that in real life as well. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little more reserved than these two. Yes. You know, I, <laughs> yes. But you know, when I'm comfortable, I come out of my shell a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, does he come out of a shell? No. No. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> this is George, 24/7. George, uh, George, <laughs> George this is George the thing. Second. George was so picked on growing up on the show uh -huh. that now he's a grown man getting his sexy on. So this hey, is this hey, is a hey, sexy hey, George. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. real life at uh, George we'll start with you do you have a girlfriend I'm not married oh he took my answer <laughs> you got a little stuff you're dating around you're having fun I'm not married yes <laughs> Craig do you have a steady girlfriend uh currently I'm single <laughs> are you are you dating many no I'm just focusing on the show the show um, yeah yes okay uh Damien Dante. I was waiting for you, Lindsay. <laughs> I was hoping your relationship went wrong at some point so I could say, how you doing? I do, I do you love you a young man. man. How you doing? <laughs> now, so everybody's single? Yeah, nobody's married. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
um, the, the parts that you play on, the, oh, oh, by the way, I heard, uh, Damien, that your mother is a big Wendy watcher. She is a fanatic. Yeah. My mom, Elvira, Elvira Wayans. Now, I must say, there's one thing in common, Wendy, and please do not take offense. What? <laughs> My mama got some big old breasts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Quadruple Z, uh -huh. um, and she says, "How you doing?" At the most inappropriate times, <laughs> it's like she'll be in the house just sweeping. Hey, Ma, how you doing? <laughs> oh, how you doing? I love that. She loves you. So, um, Keenan, I think for most of us, we would consider him the patriarch of the family. Just the Godfather. You know, he's the oldest of the Wayans siblings, mm -hmm. and then you guys' uncle. Uh, what is the best advice that he's given each of you, Damien? Oh, um, to be a multi-hyphenate. You know, I write, I act, I direct, I produce, I create. That's how you stay afloat in this town. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and what about you, Fred? Uh, it's to, to write and create your own path and stick to it. And, uh, George, do you take advice from the uncle? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, working with Damon for, for so long, yeah. you know, just seeing how, how genius works, you know, it, it's, it was a good thing. I remember when you got that girl pregnant on my wife and kid, like, <laughs> like, like, we still watch it. My, our son is 12 and your show is like number one. Thank on you. his reruns and um just a really really funny show a thank really you. great time meeting all of you boys oh, thank, thank you, you. thank you and second generation weigh-in it is tuesday nights at 10 30 on bet keep it here we'll be right back